It's been quite some time since I've talked about leaks in Doom Eternal, but recently leaks regarding Series 10 of Doom Eternal have surfaced. A YouTuber by the name of An Original Name has recently posted all of these pictures and screenshots of some of the items to come in the next series. Today, I'm going to be covering all of these, and of course you can find a link to his channel and the video in the description below. As always, I hope you enjoy, and let's get to it. The first icon that was leaked is Rainforest Friend, which seems to be a cartoon version of the Poison Frog Pain Elemental skin. I think this looks pretty nice, uh, it's just a basic icon, nothing wrong with it, and I don't know if I'll use it, but it still looks pretty nice. The second one is Furry Friend, which appears to be Daisy as a cartoon character. I think this is pretty interesting, I like seeing all of the blood and the kind of style it's in, it just it looks really nice in my opinion, I'll probably use this. Next up we have Country Vogue, which is the Doom Slayer with a flannel cap on. I think this is really nice looking, um, I probably won't use it, but it's, it's definitely worth using, it looks pretty nice. Next up we have Surfin' Time. This is a, again, stylized version of the Surfin' Mancubus skin, which is coming up in this series. I think this looks pretty nice again, but I might not use it too much. The next one we have is Daisy Eternal, which is Daisy kicking a lost soul. I think this one looks pretty nice and I'll probably use this over the other Daisy one, but again, it's just it's really nice one. I really like the style and all the blood. I, I think it really fits. The last icon we have is Wild and Free. This is a stylized version of the Lumberjack Marauder skin we are getting in this event. I think this looks pretty nice, but it's not necessarily something I'll be using. This is the first title we have here, is Daisy again, and there are some flowers in the background. I think this looks nice, it matches the other icons, but it's not necessarily something I plan on using a lot. The next one we have is Meadow Master. Meadow Master is pretty interesting, again it's Daisy, and uh, I, I, just, I like this theme in general, but it might not be something I use all too often, but it, it's still nice to have. The final title we have is One with the Woods, which is a part of the Master Collection set. One with the Woods is pretty basic, nothing like the Daisy ones we've got before this, but it's certainly interesting and I, I can see myself using this. The only weapon skin that was provided was the Plaid Heavy Cannon. I am definitely going to use this over the Carbon Fiber. It's really nice, I like the colors, I like the matte red with the darker yellow and black. It just all fits together really well and I just like it. Up next is a skin for the Doom Slayer flannel. I think it looks really nice. It's a pretty good recolor in my opinion and I can definitely see myself using this. It certainly fits the theme so far of flannel and that lumberjack kind of feel. I appreciate this kind of skin. Next up we have the Serpent Mancubus skin. I think it looks really nice. I like these scales, but it it isn't really for me. I think I would prefer something like the King Master Collection we have over this. Next up we have a skin I have covered before on this channel in a leaked video, the Poison Frog. The Poison Frog for the Pain Elemental is a really interesting skin. I really like the vibrant colors on this. Again, it's not necessarily something I would use over the skins we already have, but it is really interesting and nice to look at. Up next we have the Lumberjack Marauder. This is his base color. I think it looks really nice. It is odd seeing the Marauder without his normal attire and without a face mask, but I really do appreciate the skin and I'm looking forward to using it. I do like that he has a metal and wood axe instead of the typical metal and argent energy axe. I think it fits really well. Next up is a tan recolor for that skin. I think this looks really nice, but not as nice as the original version. This is a light blue and orangish recolor, and again, I think it looks nice, but not as nice as the original. This picture is the whole master collection, everything it includes, along with the finished background and the base skin. I think it looks really nice all coming together and I'm going to appreciate using this skin. Next up we have the unfinished version of the Master Collection background. I think it looks pretty nice even for an unfinished one. 
This is the Marauder's standing stance for when you are in a battle mode lobby or something like that. This is him holding a wood carving of himself and I think it looks really nice. This is an animation for the Marauder as each one of them comes with a victory animation and intro animation. He's holding up his axe and I just I think it looks really cool in my opinion. Um, again it's really nice and it will probably really fit the set. This here is just the finished background without any of the text in front of it. I think this looks really nice, it really fits the whole set and it just really brings everything together in my opinion. I like the big axes in the background, the demonic symbol in the background, the sandwich there, I just think it all comes together really nicely. And yeah, that's going to be all for this video. I wanted to say thank you for all the support here recently. I've really appreciated all the support, and I hope to keep putting out videos like this for you guys. If you like this kind of leaked content, please feel free to tell me down below, and I'll keep doing more of it when it comes out. And as always, I hope you enjoyed. Leaving a like and subscribing is free, and it'll really help out the channel. Again, if you really want to see all these for yourself in an original names video, then link is going to be down in the description below. Thanks to him for all these screenshots, I really appreciate it. And as always, I hope you enjoyed. Until next time.